All right, I'm doing a live uh, photo walk in downtown Indianapolis this morning, and the, the sky was so beautiful this morning. I knew I had to uh, park as soon as I could and start taking pictures or I was gonna lose this light. So you notice when you get lower, it's, it separates more, but if, if I move my phone up higher, I'm a little bit over my head here, then um, you kind of close the gap in negative space. So I'm gonna try that there so you can check that out. Um, but uh, blur does well for me. I think this is kind of an interesting um, photo here. I don't wanna freak, okay, there we go. You know, something like that. If I wanted to work this more, maybe I'd stand here longer and do like a slow shutter for the traffic and whatever, but uh, I don't know. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm, I'm really liking this color. It's like you've got everything's blue and you just got this like hit of the warm light coming through. I like that. I like to shoot something in the foreground to add some depth and dimension to it. Kind of draws your eye from the bottom corners up to that light source right there. I'm liking this shot. That looks pretty cool. So the color is what, so I, anything that draws my eye, I'll try to work with, you know, it could be colors, it could be, you know, a reflection or lines, patterns, light. Again, I kind of like these repeating lines going towards the um, mural up there look for interesting photos at everyday locations. Yes, Indianapolis. I'm gonna walk down to the circle. Um, see like, this is a situation where, what do you win? Where I might just like kind of sneak in and take a photo. The framing is really interesting. I like this. Um, this is one talking about people it's kind of, you can see the form of a person but they're not like instantly recognizable I like that kind of like the light here it's interesting um, that's nice colors yeah I'll do a self portrait here while I'm out <laughs> there we go kind of has an interesting like minimalist palette like there's some interesting reflections and stuff here I might try to mess around with just kind of seeing what I can see I kind of like the colors in that um, just it, the, it's technically past sunrise now but we're not seeing much so yeah, it's, I'm squaring it up on the door frame there That's kind of an interesting, it's got to be horizontal though. Let's try that and see how I like it. Just the soft light's kind of nice. Shots and I'll move closer, move closer, move closer. Now that color coming off the walls is starting to pop a little bit more. That's interesting. I kind of like this too. It's just, a, that's, probably a black and white. Um, I try to do anything that captures my attention. I got those guys walking by here. And just see what we like here. If you're just joining, um, I'm a documentary and commercial photographer. I'm based in Indianapolis. I like this as kind of a... I like the color here. I, this I, I, this might be a black and white image. Yeah. To make some small adjustments like that. I'm trying to see if there's anything else I want to do with this. Are most of the people here, are you all like into photography? Do you do your own photography? So she just walked in my frame. Let's take the picture and then uh, move out of the way. There's only, well, there's two people in there. to a busy street.
you don't want anything. Oh, I like this. Look at this. Yes. Yes. That's cool. <laughs> See, they're friendly. They like the attention. That's not bad. It's, you know, a different angle. Oh, here we go. I like this. Hold on. Okay. So there's like a security person in the other side of this. So I want to get a quick in and out picture. So I'm going to set my exposure like where I want it. And then I'll just kind of like jump in and get a shot. I'll try to like pre-focus. And just like get a quick. I like having the this more in the picture. Sorry, I'm shaking you guys a lot. There we go. That's not, I mean, it's not bad. I think I prefer the first shot that I took. That's a little more, I kind of like that. I might try that one more time. I really want that picture, I like it. Sometimes I'll go back. There's somebody walking behind me and walk, watching their reflection go through. Okay, somebody's walking in the building, so I'm going to wait. And here they come. Yeah, cool. See, good. This is why I go back. Oh, this is cool. Any kind of details, I like this. I try to get like the, something I talk a lot about is filling your frame. So a lot of people I feel like don't watch all the way to the edges of their frame. So I'm making sure I want that frame in a frame. So I'm making sure all sides of that window are visible so I can really get that. And I might try like a closer angle to see if I like something like that, get my reflection out of it. Maybe this angle would be better. kind of interesting. Maybe I'll see, do I want F2? Or why don't I bump it up to like 5.6? So something I found myself doing a few years ago was almost exclusively shooting at F1.4 and F2. And I was like, oh, this is kind of limiting what I'm doing. I'm missing out on this whole thing. I guess not exclusively, I don't know, but uh, maybe more when, especially when I was trying to be like extra creative, I was mostly shooting at these uh, lower apertures. And, and so I thought I need to shoot more at like F8, F11. And I think uh, that's kind of cool. I like that. Now this has kind of a cool look to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back focus and then I'm gonna hold it down here That's kind of cool. So I'm at F uh, 5.6 right now. I'm gonna um, go down to ISO 400 and I'm gonna open all the way up to F2. Yeah, Fuji colors are great. I'm really, I've really been happy with everything I've done with this Fuji here. I kind of like this as like a minimalist. Oh, there's the bird, that's cool. I like the tones here, the just subtle light coming through. That's nice. Let's come over here and see. It's kind of a mess over here. Like how does that, how does that even happen? There's all these trash bins right here. I mean, what the hell, might as well shoot it, right? The light is nice. I like the color of the high life and the um, Mar Marlboro kind of like play off each other there really have to want this shot because it does not smell good right here and work out this this is kind of an interesting
Oh, you can go through if you want. It's okay. There's somebody waiting on me. Um, that's probably, this one's probably about as good as I want to get. Something like that. Yeah. Uh, I like the colors here. Great. This is real, like, look on the camera. You'll see it's totally different. Just that soft light coming down from the building right there. It's beautiful. It's really a pretty scene. I hope I'm getting the focus that I want. People's pictures like that. But I don't have any problem like dropping in here and getting a couple of, like, see what I think of all that. I'm not gonna stay and harass people, but I'll take a picture. Here you go got me in that one <laughs> is it good all right i can't not take this picture this is a situation where i would frequently like well you know usually if i'm gonna photograph somebody it's not it's a nice uh image yeah it's a good morning for street photography hey tony Good to see ya. My goal is to start doing this sort of thing like um, as I travel more, I want to uh, do a lot more traveling and do photo walks in all the locations. And I want it to be like every day kind of like, you know, if you live there, that's the place. Uh, I, I want my pictures to reflect what the place looks like. I don't want to take like a tourist point of view. I want to show what it feels like to be in an area.